I am Marcus Blake with That Nerd Show here at the 2019 Dallas International Film Festival, and we are speaking with the lovely Lizette Barrera. And it's always a pleasure to speak with you about your projects. Chick Lay Gum. I was intrigued by this. I've never really thought anything beyond just having the gum, but I got. I'm intrigued. So tell us a little bit about the film. Yeah. Um, yes. Go ahead. This is amazing, and this is. I feel so powerful now. <laughs> yes. Star Wars. Um, yes. Yeah, so I think for the film, you know, essentially it's a very simple concept about a, um, you know, about a teenager who's just really afraid of saying goodbye to her grandfather, and so. Um, um, you know, when uh, the strange friend comes in and accidentally puts gum in her hair, you know, forces her to go in and say goodbye. So I think that was kind of the premise behind it. Um, but I think overall, it was definitely uh, probably one of my most personal pieces in terms of me dealing with the death of my own grandfather and coming to terms of feelings. And I think all of us just, you know, how do we uh, channel uh, things that we've gone in the past and into something uh, better light and so like a lightsaber so <laughs> uh, yeah that's how the film came about <laughs> and then Hermelinda plays here uh, Dina slash uh, Gadi's mother um, uh, Gadi's our protagonist of the film and uh, Mr. Pablo Esparza here plays uh, the grandfather um, in the in the film as well so, yes I'm always intrigued by your personal projects and stuff so uh, what is next for this film where you had what festival are you heading to next with it <laughs> that's a very good question <laughs> I'm still waiting back so um, the festivals I would love to be in there um, I mean we hope to sell it if we can uh, uh, my last project has been uh, been sold with HBO so we're hoping you know maybe a platform can can uh, accept us um, you know but uh, um, you know, if not hopefully we can you know have people enjoy it you know somehow uh, with that and working on other projects as well. Um, I know you do a lot of shorts. Is this something that you could see as a feature down the road or? Uh, yeah, um, for sure. My uh, the this this world is definitely the same uh, characters as my last film. So there is something there that I'm dabbling with for the feature film that I will be doing called Mosca, essentially. Um, and I'm also working on another feature film too that is uh, set in East LA. So we will figure something out with that <laughs> all right so because we've interviewed you before and we're not going to give you the regular question i gotta try to stump you a little oh, bit oh, before i get to that my only little theory about game of thrones after last night's episode okay. uh yeah i don't want anybody on the i don't want one person on the iron throat i want three people i want the onion knife Tyrion, and the other guy okay. those that scene with those three guys talking about matchmaking like yeah they should be on the iron throat that's what I'm going with. <laughs> Definitely. Wait, wait, what? Don't be so vague. Wait, wait, wait. Did I spoil? Yeah, you've watched the episode. I watched the last one. But you, know, you don't... Yeah, but the last night's episode, right? Yeah, last night's episode. You don't we remember? Were we were just there. Yeah. Yeah. Tyrion and the Onion Knight, and all, they were talking about matchmaking with John and Daenerys. Oh, wait, wait. Were you talking about the waterfall scene? No. Well, anyway, that's my theory. But I do have a, I do have a nerdy question. As a filmmaker, films from the nerd universe, superheroes, sci-fi, horror, whatever. They, what is it the one thing that you would absolutely love to write and direct, whether it be a remake or create yourself? What's that one go-to project for you? Well, tell you the truth, I think I would love to see a Latina superhero in general. So for me, I would love to have that. Um, what she's doing yet, I think it'd be able to be in some with some form of like being invisible um, and being able to come in and be able to do things. Um, so that would be the. I don't really read a lot of superhero books. My partner probably would because he is the he is the game nerd and all these <laughs> of it. So, um, but I'm sure he'd be able to help with the other side of that. <laughs> um, but I definitely want to see a Latina superhero. I think um, on Mar with Marvel, that would be I think amazing. Per like a main protagonist. Well, I think eventually we're going to have to get to newly created superheroes once we've exhausted all the other ones anyway. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I would definitely like to see that as well. Yeah. Thank you very much as always. Thank you so much.